With the stroke of a pen, President Obama's taken a big step toward getting federal funding for embryonic stem cell research. He signed an executive order lifting the limitations put in place by former President George W. Bush. Scientists believe these tiny cells may have the potential to help us understand and possibly cure some of our most devastating diseases and conditions. Embryonic stem cells are the body's master cells. Scientists believe they can morph into any other cell in the body and could create replacement tissues to treat a variety of diseases, like the rare blood disease that ended Henry Strong in Goldberg's life when he was just seven years old. It is too late for us to, have, to help Henry, obviously, at this point, but it is not too late for us to stand up by the president's side and applaud this incredibly wonderful thing. The executive order is a compromise. It will allow researchers to use tax dollars to study more existing stem cell lines, but it leaves to Congress to decide whether federal money can be used to create new lines. Stem cells are harvested from days old embryos. Critics argue the research destroys those embryos and they say that's the same as destroying human life. In terms of scientific advances, I don't think we're going to see anything from this. This is more an ideological move. Now that President Obama's acted, the National Institutes of Health will have to write new guidelines on stem cell research. So scientists are still months away from seeing federal money start flowing into their projects. Joel Brown, CBS News, Washington.